Howdy folks, welcome back to Cray Outdoors. So I lost the original intro video that I filmed that day on my phone. Who knows where it went? This was almost three months ago. We're slowly but surely getting caught up. Thank you guys for sticking with me and watching these daily videos. We're gonna keep doing these daily videos until we get totally caught up. In this video, we were at Okafinoki Swamp. I was on a business trip near the Florida Georgia line. Of course, I brought my fishing gear with me, limited fishing gear. I didn't have a net with me, which I should have, but um, yeah, I, I was limited on fishing gear. I just had two collapsible poles and uh, we just did some fishing on uh, some free time that I had. We were staying right near Okafinoki National Wildlife Refuge. Um, so that's where I was fishing. I think I'm pronouncing that right, Okafinoki. I'm not sure. Let me know if I'm wrong, uh, anybody that lives in that area. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoy the video. Check that out. A squirrel's been munching here. <laughs> this swamp here in Georgia, maybe it's because we're starting to head towards summer too, but I feel like there's even more life here than in the Everglades. There's just, uh, I don't know, there's a lot more tree cover, a lot more shade. And I'm just seeing turtles everywhere in the water. There was a hawk staring me down. I think I don't see him anymore. It's just so much life out here. Using just a, a split shot right now and, uh, and fishing this Berkeley gulp pinched worm just off the bottom. Reason being, I forgot that there's flathead catfish in the swamps in Georgia. That is on my bucket list, if you will, for uh, a species that I want to catch. So, um, I don't know if they'll eat Berkeley Gulp, but we know that channel catfish in New York like Berkeley Gulp. I learned that, so I'd imagine that the flathead catfish will eat it too. Uh, I don't expect to catch one. I don't really know what I'm doing even, but hey, if we can add a new species to the list today, that'd be great. It's Mr. Fish. Just missed my first fish while I was fighting with deer flies. Oh, hey, check it out. There's a turtle chilling right there. Poor little guy. Probably gonna disturb him trying to fish, but check that out. See, there's fish near him. That's why I need to fish here. <laughs> what is it? Bowfin, I think. I don't know what it is. Is this my catfish, maybe? What the heck is this? No, it's a bowfin. <laughs> cool. Big one, too. Wow, big one. Is this a bowfin or is this a snakehead? This could be a snakehead too. I don't know how to go about. It's got teeth like a mother effer. <laughs> I, I, I don't know guys. You tell me what this thing is. Is this a bowfin or a snakehead? It's got markings. I don't know. Not like how I remember bowfin looking. I don't know exactly how to go about unhooking him. He's going to freak out. And he's got teeth. <laughs> it looks scary. So, start this process. We disturbed the turtle, but that was inevitable once we hooked the fish. <laughs> Pretty big fish here. Oh, we gotta watch out for freaking alligators, too. Oh, aff. Ah, dang it. Yeah, that's my concern. Of course, dang it. No, there goes my fluke and all. You get out of here. Oh, cool. I got my hook back. He came off at the last second there. All right. Well, that all worked out. Um, I mean, I'm getting pretty close because that's a little stupid alligator. I could punch that thing in the face if he tried to bite my hand. But yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what happens in these public areas. You got to get the fish in fast and, and off the line fast. It's not like you can, you know, handle the fish in the water like you can in western New York. Yeah, I see you. Your fish is gone, buddy. He got away. Fish is gone. Carry on. Darn thing. Between the barking tree frogs. <laughs> so loud in here between the cicadas and the insects buzzing around my ears and the tree frogs and the stuff in the water. In any event, we got our super fluke back going again. That was weird how that all happened. Somehow the knot here at the leader broke as I was trying to pull the thing up the bank. And then somehow the, the hook actually got off of the fish. And it all worked out. The fish got away before the alligator got there. Um, granted, that's a little stupid alligator. I'm not even afraid of that one, but we're still going to move on because I don't think I'm going to catch anything after that big commotion anyway. I think it was just a regular bowfin, 
and uh, obviously being in the swamp here is a lot different from the bowfin that I caught in the canal in Florida. They're going to look different just because of the environment. Of course, there's a big alligator out there, so that might complicate things a little bit if we do catch a fish, or if we hook a fish. But, um, yeah, it's going to have to be fast at landing things, man. We don't have a net. I'm on a business trip is the whole reason why I'm out here in Georgia. Uh, you can see I brought two collapsible light rods. What I have with me is literally everything. Normally I have a car full of tackle and nets and everything I need, but look at that freaking turtle that just popped up next to us. <laughs> oh man, I didn't have time to get my phone out and get a picture. That's a big boy. I don't know what kind of turtle that even was. I don't think that was a, that's too fast for a snapping turtle. Snapping turtles are slow. I think that was some kind of soft shell. That was a big giant turtle bite on the berkeley gulp this is exciting this could be my catfish it's not a catfish bite though that's a uh, i don't know what kind of bite that is that's a little something stupid bite you got it whatever it is oh gosh dang it it's a turtle bite. That's what kind of bite that is. Settle down, settle down, bro. Settle down, bro. Settle down, bro. I've got like insect repellent stuff on my hands, but I'm also scared to, um, <laughs> look how fast this thing is. This thing is so fast. I, I know I probably shouldn't be touching him, but I'm also scared to rinse my hands off with that giant alligator around. All right, mister, you need to settle down. He's a soft shell turtle of some sort. If this little squirt would cooperate, I'm pretty confident I could get the hook out. I could get the forceps in there, bend the barb down, and then just twist the hook out. But he's not... He's not even letting me into his mouth at all. <laughs> he's just being a little squirt. So, I think the, the most ethical thing to do is just going to be to cut the freaking hook. He is just being a little squirt. And, um... I guess we're just going to have to let him deal with the hook. Eventually, they rust, and eventually, hopefully, he can work it out of the mouth, his mouth himself. I believe they do have tongues, so he might be able to uh, eventually get that hook out. I'll try one last time. If you, let, if you cooperate, <laughs> and then he bites, the, he bites down on the forceps. I can't push him, I can't push him in, the, in either direction. I feel bad throwing him back with the hook in him, but I can't. <laughs> I just can't get it out. I feel like I could if he opened his mouth nice and wide. I think I could get it out, but as you can see, that's that's what he's doing. That's not blood or anything. That's the Berkeley gulp worm, which probably also isn't great for him to digest. <sighs> Interesting little turtle, anyway. Sorry, buddy. Didn't mean to catch you. I was trying to catch a catfish on that. All right, dude. Go ahead of your way. Oop. Yeah, he's fine. <laughs> Those things are so crazy. They swim so fast. Uh, we're going to start making our way back, but first we do want to check out this little neat area here. This is pretty cool. We've got a gnoll doing his uh, throat thing. I don't know why they do that. I don't know if it's like a mating thing or what that's about. There he goes. Those things are funny. Let's see if we can find that pig frog. It keeps startling me. It's over here somewhere. Now you'd have to have an extremely good eye to spot the thing. Oh, there he is. <laughs> hey, buddy. Now that I'm here, he's not going to make the noise, but there he is. There's the pig frog. All right, well, we saw an anole and a pig frog. Time to move on. Let's head back to the main swamp. Maybe I'll take a few casts with a fluke on the way out. We're done messing around with Berkeley Gulp in this channel. Here we go. Got yeah, something. Please don't be another freaking turtle. Feels like a turtle. No, it's a fish. It is another bowfin snakehead thing. Cool. <laughs> Mission successful. 
time we're gonna drag the thing right up the bank. I know this isn't the best way for the fish, but better than getting hit, letting it get eaten by an alligator, right? This one definitely looks like a bowfin. I'm pretty sure these things are freaking bowfin. Again, I really should have a net, but I'm on a business trip and didn't have room for a net. I'm, you know, in a, uh, a work truck with multiple other people. I just took what I could fit. Even so, I don't know if they were happy with me anyway. Let's get this bowfin off of here and back in the water. There you go. <laughs> kind of need to rinse off my hands. I don't see any alligators. Do you see any alligators? I don't see any alligators. Doesn't mean, sometimes they're literally right there and you just don't see them. I've learned this. Be careful. Especially in this dark water and this, this dark swamp water is very, very dark. It can easily hide stuff. So it's just sketchy, man. <laughs> it's sketchy. What did I tell you guys? I just got done rinsing off my hands. Just put on a new super fluke. Come back up here and look. <laughs> There's an alligator right freaking there. I think that's the one from down the way. He must have heard the, the splashing and, and came over this way now. Well, we made it out of, I guess that place is called Swanee Canal that we were just fishing. Oh, we made it out of that section of the swamp. Now we're back at main base here. And we'll see what we can catch here. It's a big old something. This could be my big catfish. Or is it a gar? Ooh, it's a big catfish. Heck yeah, baby. This is my flathead, man. This is my freaking flathead. How am I supposed to get it up the, the way here? Or is this another bowfin? I can't tell what this is. What the heck are you? I don't know what you are. <laughs> can't tell what this is. Maybe it's another just stupid bowfin. It's not hooked overly well. <laughs> Such a pain without a freaking net. I think it's just another stupid bowfin. I guess I'm grabbed by the gill. I don't know how else to go about this. These things are so slimy. Alright. I'm just gonna freaking flip them. Boat flip them. Uh oh. What the heck? Of all the stupid, dumb things. I'm all, I'm completely trapped now. I am literally stuck. It's stuck on my foot. It's stuck on the fish. This is unbelievable right now. All right, he broke the line. What the heck? I've never been this tangled up in my life. It's tangled there. It's tangled on my foot. And I had the fish. Uh, that was just a mess. Those both and have freaking teeth. So I, I'm, not, I'm not about to grab the thing by the mouth. <laughs> no, I'm good. Alrighty folks, well, as you can see, it's raining, I hear thunder in the distance, and it's time to leave anyway, it's 7.30, and I've got to work at 6 a.m. tomorrow. I worked at 5 a.m. today, which was rough, but uh, the good news is it gives you more time to, uh, you, you get off of work sooner, so you get more time to fish in the afternoon, so I'm glad I got to check out Okafinoki Swamp. I still don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but this is definitely an awesome place if you're ever in southern Georgia or near the Florida-Georgia line. Tons of wildlife, man so many turtles and birds and alligators it was just really really cool for a wildlife guru like me and uh, i enjoy catching both and i know people in this area don't like them they consider them a trash fish but it's a new species for me i just caught my first bowfin the other day so that was my second and third bowfin i don't know if i'd consider that fourth one a catch or not i'd say it probably was not that was probably one of the biggest fishing fails in my life not in terms of like anything seriously bad happening but just in terms of the sheer ridiculousness of it um the good people at the uh oka Finoki, um adventures uh actually came out the, just at the boat rental restaurant place here um they came out to check on me uh people inside apparently witnessed the whole thing 
and uh, they came out to check and see if I was okay. Uh, that's how ridiculous the situation was. An embarrassing moment for me. I'm sharing it with you guys. I don't know. I, I've never been tangled in my fishing line like that before with a fish on the line. Anyway, it's starting to rain. There's thunder coming. Catch you guys in the next fishing adventure. Be sure to subscribe.